ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, poppies fans, wherever you may be, to Latimer Park. It's the Poppies versus Michelover. And uh, it's the Poppies versus a very informed Michelover. Although their bubble has burst when they started this season. 10 or 11 games, I think it was, without dropping a point. And now they've uh, started to slow down a bit, but their rough patch certainly isn't that bad at all. Ketron are going to get us underway, still kicking from our right to our left towards the I.M. Kelly stand. And away we go, referee wasting no time there as we, uh, we get away. Headed away by Mickelover and then cleared the clearance again. Nice touch on the halfway line by the number nine, Stuart Beaven, on the left-hand side for Mickelover, bursting down that poppy's right. Uh, Different poppies, right? Owen Cochran was ever-present for the poppies. In comes the cross and a good take eventually by Billy Johnson who drops it and juggles it. And the poppies have a free kick inside their own half. And as nice as those numbers for Michelover look up close, from a distance they're, they're really nightmare. difficult to see. They are a commentator's nightmare. Anything on the far side is very difficult. But uh, Riley picks the ball up in the right-back position, plays it down the line to Clark. Wonderful pass from Leon Clark. But ball put through, looking for loose weight, doesn't get there. Leon Clark lays it off to Miller. Miller takes a touch, shoots, he scoffs it a little bit. And uh, yeah, Geddy Nikito thought he could go there, but played conservative and didn't chase after it. As Michelover look to come forward again, it's with the 11 Greaves into Ben Salt. Salt across the line now to uh, the number two, Bennett. And now it's out on the left hand side. Mickelover have worked right to left and they'll go towards the byline, left footed in, cleared away by Tozel and only as far to the edge of the box. Shot low into the hand wall. Well, it was straight at Johnson. It came through bodies though. He parried it, killed the sting of the ball and jumped on it before Marcus Barnes could get close enough to tap it in. It must be him. Greaves right footed over the wall. Great shot off the bar and it's not cleared by Ketcher and it's blocked wonderfully by Leon Clark. Brilliant block by the veteran striker and then Away come Mickelover with it again. Salt. Good challenge by Geddy and Akito. Wonderful challenge. Plays it into the feet of oh, Ty Luthway who turned the wrong way. He should have zigged when in. Steady zagged. And away come Mickelover on the left hand side. Good run from this. Still bursting forward. Someone needs to close him down from Ketrin. They do eventually. Laid off to the 11 who just had a wonderful shot at goal. To the left hand side. Chance low. Missed touch. Wide. They're trying to play football against one of the teams, uh, one of the league's best teams. Yeah, I think uh, Jim will be quite, uh, quite pleased with the way that we're competing this evening, and I say looking to when we get on the ball to uh, to make things of it. But uh, just in the final third, we've uh, lacked that cutting edge, yeah. really. Well, that's uh, that could be the story for uh, for this season, it couldn't could. it? Really? Oh no! Error! Oh, handball! Has to turn back, plays it into the middle for the number seven Dales Dales back out left and a wonderful back heel sells uh, Sharper Gooden and here come Mickle over on the left hand side bearing down right footed clipped in towards the back post headed away by Tozen well towards the end of the box should be a first time shot is wonderful block again this time by Dawes and then the turn and shot by Stuart Bevan is straight at Billy Johnson a great block that was from uh, Hugh Dawson in the first attempt and Mickle overcome away with it again. Long ball cut out by Riley on his chest. Good touch from him as well. Plays it into Scott. Scott back out to Riley on the right hand side. The Poppies have a chance to put the ball in the area. Put in low. Cleared away. Corner for the Poppies. First one of the game. And the first time the Poppies have threatened the Mickle over goal. And let's see if he can do it. He can't because that was a woeful ball in. But he'll get another chance because it stays in play back to him. That's a better ball in. Clark heads it goalwards. Lofts in. Oh, it's a great save. What a save that was. Oliver Bosworth. Clark looking for his first goal for the Poppies. Loop to head up towards the top corner. Clearance from Michelover finds Tozeland. Girl, great touch from Sharp. Lays it out to Geddy Nikito. Sharp is fouled. Referee again quick on the whistle. I thought he was going to wait to see whether Akito could beat his man and in fact just blew the whistle straight away. This is a better chance to put a ball in from a free kick. Scott will be right footed. It's right on the left hand side. In fact, no sharp it is. Left footed in towards the back post. Great ball in. Not in. Oh, just over the bar. Langmead. That was a better connection. This time, Oliver Bosworth could only stand and watch the looping header towards the back post. And uh, the number 10 tries to get there. Barnes, will he keep it in? He does, to be fair to him. Back to uh, the right hand, sorry, the left hand side. Shot in. Oh, it's 
actually well dealt with by Johnson in the end because it took a horrible bounce before it got to him. To be fair, the referee's assistant was unobstructed about 10 yards away from it, so he would have seen if there was contact. I uh, I bow down to, uh, to that one, and that is the last kick of the half. The Poppies, to be fair, have uh, done very well. Started playing some really nice football towards the end of it. They're still in it. Are the home side as the referee gets us underway again. And uh, it's Mickelover who gets us underway. And the Poppies should clear away, and they do. Throw in wanted to be taken quickly. He can't. Goes down the line instead, looking for Luthwaite. That's a better throw. Luthwaite does flick it on. That's going to be a goal kick. And it is a goal kick. As Miller couldn't quite keep the ball in play. What's given? Oh no, he's given it as a corner. Ketchin providing a short option for Sharp's corner in the form of Tom Scott. I don't think he'll be used. In fact, Scott retreats to the penalty area and Sharp has a chance to put this left footed in. And it comes, should be first man, it is cleared away. But back out to Sharp, who takes a touch and will have a chance to put it in again. That time it is better. Flicked on! Oh, it's gold! Cotton has scored! It's Hugh Dawson! Just moments into the second half. Well, the Poppies did it in the first half where the corner was cleared and Sharp put it back in and Leon Clark forced a good save. This time it was put back in and a wonderful back header from Hugh Dawson. Short throw in taken by Akito. Back to him from Miller. Akito gets it down to Miller. Wonderful touch. He's blocked off, but it's actually really good defending. Oh, he's nicked it away from him and Miller's brought down. I don't think you're ever going to get a free kick for it, though. And away come Nikolova. Brought down on the chest of Riley, who lofts it forward. Scott lets it bounce. Takes a touch. Cuts inside. Looks for an option. He may have to. Force going backwards. Tried to be too clever. Gets fortuitous. A 1-2 off the stomach of the Mikolova midfielder. Now it's Riley. Riley into the feet of Clark. Wonderful 1-2. Riley into the feet of Luthwaite, who takes a touch. He's offside, and he was offside. And uh, in it comes. Right-footed it will be with the pink boots of the number 11, Greaves. In it comes. Goalkeeper. Ooh, he watched it well because there was a Mikolova man flashed in front of his face before the ball got to him against his uh, yellow kit. Not had any snow, so... Uh, no need for that. Long high kick looking for Clark. Clark is out jumped, but it comes off the bickle over man. It'll be a corner ball. They're sort of put in flat and arrowed in. Scott with a short option. If he wants to use it, he won't. In it comes. It is clipped in again. Chance for catcher. Tozlan! Tozlan scores! On his 100th appearance, the Centurion for the Poppies! Puts Ketrin 2-0 to the good is another corner. And Mikolova get away with that one. And away they come again on the left-hand side. It's with the number four, William Atkinson. Plays a cross-field ball all the way over to the right-hand side of Matthew Bowman. Bowman clips long, looking Finley Ryder. Finley Ryder back to goal, lays it to Atkinson. Atkinson goes on to his right foot, plays it through. Wonderful ball and here come Mikolova. Chance into the side netting. Long ball, it's bounced a few times and Leon Clark has a chance, good defender, but it comes as far as Tom Scott who shoots straight at the goalkeeper, good save at the end to be fair. And that would have been 3-0 and potentially game over as the ball is cleared, it will go on its way back to Tom Scott though and nods it to Luca Miller who takes a touch, should shoot Luca Miller, straight down the goalkeeper's throat. Good touch from Scott back to Riley, Riley into Dawson, Dawson to Luca Miller, Luca Miller down the line for Tom Scott. Tom Scott puts a ball in, charge, goal, loose weight, he's offside, and he was as well, you know. Mm, yeah, no, he is right, 14 plus added. Fair play to him, he started to stop watch, in comes the corner, oh, Billy Johnson punches it, doesn't get anywhere near it, chance, ball in low, oh, it's gone through the legs of Johnson and cleared off the line by Langmead. Comes in, this one is in the air, headed away towards the back pose, Little faint by the number five, puts it, clips it in, into the hands of Billy Johnson, collects perfectly this time. Brought down really well, actually, by Mickelover, and a chance on the right-hand side as Ketchering got sucked a bit higher up. And they burst forward, pull in, over the top of Billy Johnson, and it falls to him fortuitously. If you just joined us, 2-0 to the Poppies. Dawson and Tosland, the goal scorers. After the second, after the half-time whistle, ball through. Oh, it didn't quite find Luthwaite. Miller was maybe a yard, if that, away from getting it past the back line. And that time, Luthwaite was onside. 
Long ball headed away by Toslin to Scott. Scott lofts it up. It's not really away though. And Bennett gets ahead of the way. And Langmead smashes the ball away. The assistant manager for at least this game and probably Saturday on the pitch showing that at 38 years old, you're still not getting past him if he doesn't want you to. Good little touch that from Bennett as Mikkel overlooked to mount a late, late comeback. It's still 2-0 to the Poppies. The league leaders faltering at Latimer Park. But there's still time in this game for late drama. Is there? Oh, you'd certainly think there would be. In it comes long ball looking for the back post. Good take by Johnson as I make three minutes left of normal time plus what the referee adds, which of course is going to be about 58 minutes. It'll feel like 58, but it's probably going to be five, I would think, at the moment. Five minutes for the Poppies to hang on. Five minutes for Mikkel over the league leaders to avoid an unlikely defeat. They certainly weren't expecting this defeat when they rocked up at Latim Latimer Park today. But uh, they're going to have to deal with it if they can't find two goals here. Ball in, claimed by Billy Johnson via the floor. He falls on it theatrically. Atkinson finds Bowman on the outside. And a good ball from Mellis Blair. Finds uh, Jarvis. Jarvis inside to Clark. Oh, lovely play by Clark. Just let it run. Uh, Tom Scott trying to battle through, but in the end concedes a foul on the edge of the Mikelova penalty area. Yeah. 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 